Good morning everyone, thank you for stopping on my channel. So today we're going to be installing oil catch cans on my 6.0 swap Silverado. However the process will be the same for any 4.8, 5.3, 5.7 LS and 6.0. So what I have here are two separate um, branded oil catch cans. This one is Speed Engineering I believe and this one is an eBay catch can. However, this is not like a $10 eBay catch can. This is a very expensive one. This one was 116 This one is roughly 60 This one goes on the passenger side. This one goes on the driver's side. Now both of these catch cans, even though they're different brands, are both very easy to install. This one, my only complaint was it did not come with its own um, hoses. All you need is some 3 8 fuel hose, which is not expensive at all. It's just a hassle to go down there. This one did come with hose, however one seemed to be a little bit too short for me for where I'm putting it, so I'll have to go buy um, another section. Not a big deal, that's kind of my bad because of where I'm choosing to mount this. Um, we'll do this one first and this one second, and I'll show you how I mounted this one up. This one comes with its own bracket, mounts to the head. So we'll go over to the engine right now and pull off the factory hoses. So my intake is aftermarket, or not really aftermarket, just upgraded. This is the TBSS intake manifold. However, the hoses do go to the same spots. On this side, you have the breather from the valve cover to the throttle body. On this side, you have the PCB valve in the back. It comes up through here to the top of the manifold. To remove these, you just firmly pull them and wiggle a little bit. That side's off. Right there. And this usually comes out with the PCV valve, so if you haven't replaced this in a while, now would be a good time to do it. For the install, for either one of these, you're not going to need very many tools. This one, all you need is a couple Allens. I just have an Allen set, so we're going to use that. First, we're going to get the bracket put on. So the bracket goes like this. You can see on the head on this side, it is exposed. It goes just like that. And it will look something like this. One thing I did really like about this one is that it has a little sight tube on the side so you can see exactly how full it is. However, I do not think this one has any sort of media to collect the uh, oil from the air. But this being that it's on the passenger side, this side is supposed to only bring in fresh air. Um, I I don't expect this side to get more oil than this one. However, it's just an added precaution because when I did my intake swap, I had a lot of oil in the intake manifold. So I am not taking any chances. I am putting catch cans on both sides. So now that I'm done ranting and ra raving, we're gonna put this one on. And after you get it bolted down, there's just two Allen bolts on the side. You take one of your hoses, which I had to trim, because like I said before, I had to buy these. One in there, and the other one into the throttle body breather. Bam, we are done. So this side is 100% bolt on, it comes with a nice bracket. One over here kind of gives you your own mount. I've already got this mocked up and I'll show you how I went about that. Um, so this one you can kind of mount anywhere of your choosing. I chose to mount it right here and I will show you why in a minute. Before we get to installing this one on the driver's side, I'll show you how it comes apart and how it does have a media on the inside to separate the oil and water, anything in the air. And as you can see, I've let this run one time and it looked like it was already doing its job. Not a lot. But that is less stuff going into your engine and more stuff coming out, which is a good thing. So yes, this is an eBay intake, but I am very impressed with the quality of it. It is obviously CNC'd. Um, has a nice ball valve on the bottom, so when it does get full, you can drain it. The only thing I would say I don't like about this one is that there's no sight glass. So you're just going to have to drain it whenever you get under your hood, which depending on how much blow-by you have might be sooner than... Uh, other people will have to. And just like what I have mounted to the accessory bracket on my truck, this has its own little deal. Both of them are threaded. 
I ended up drilling this one through so a bolt could make it all the way through. Which is that guy, so we'll just we're just going to mount it right there. All I had to do to mount it right here was to take off one of these 10 millimeter, millimeter bolts to hold this battery cable tray thing down. And I just got a longer one. So this will just go right there. So you'll end up with something like this. And yes, it is kind of in the way of the power steering um, fill cap, but it's very easy to come apart. So another thing to think about or um, when hooking this up is that the air coming out of the crankcase is what you want going in here and the side that had the lower baffle is in. Coming out is the higher side going into the manifold. That's supposed to be a valve that only lets air out. I'm sure it doesn't always work exactly the way it's supposed to, but that's the purpose of this, is to stop anything, any sort of oil or liquid getting back into your intake manifold. So I'm back from the hardware store and I got some just 3 8 fuel line. That way we can make sure that we reach all the way to the catch can because I'm mounting it right here. So we'll take this out and get the valve out, which I think I already did. This video is actually shot in uh, two different weekends, so jumping around a little bit, but I'm going to try and make the video as streamlined as possible. So get this out, put it in one end, and then we'll just cut off where we need to. So I used about four feet of this 3 8 fuel line, so from the PCV valve to this side out back to the manifold. So now we are all hooked up. We're going to start it and make sure that we don't have any vacuum leaks. truck took a couple times to start and I had to kind of help it with the throttle. Um, this has not been tuned yet. When this video comes out it'll probably be after the tune. Uh, my tune is scheduled for the 18th of January. This is probably going to come out after that because that is next weekend as of today. Uh, but that's why it's having a hard time starting. It's you know ported and milled heads, bigger injectors, bigger throttle body and intake manifold. So it has no idea what's going on so that's why it's doing that. Um, so after that you guys will see in the dyno video which is probably before this video that yeah, it's fine now it's fine now probably i mean i'm talking into the future but you know but it does not seem like we have a vacuum leak we're still holding good vacuum actually i take that back this is even hooked up i forgot about that but um it's idling just like it was before i put these catch cans on um, you another thing you could do is take some carb cleaner and spray it around the connection points where the hoses went on and if your idle changes up or down then you'll be able to know that if you have a leak there or not um, does it appear that we have a leak I'll let this run for a little bit don't want to get you know too warm because we start building up condensation in the oil we don't want to do that because this hasn't really been ran to get the oil hot enough to burn out all the water so we like i just yeah i just shut it off so how bad is my hood getting 
man the clear coat was going it's bad it was not like that when i first bought this truck so guess i'm gonna have to get a new hood comment below if you think i should get a hood cowl or a hood scoop so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out how to hook up catch cans on both sides of your LS engine. It might vary if you have like a car that's got an LS engine, but the trucks will be very similar to mine. Um, there are definitely different places you can mount this. This is just the easiest option for me. Um, it works good. I will report back at a later date to show you how much stuff these end up catching after we actually put some miles on it after our tune. But thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.